Hi, I've been trying to work out a, another abstract. It's, it's very difficult going from a representational photograph. The, the River Wand, well, I've done it many times, so you're, you're familiar with it, will know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's all just a bit bitty, so I'm going to remake it. What we've got is just some, some a tree line here, some larger trees on a bank here, um, a tangle of, of bramble, blackberry, nettles, ferns, all sorts of stuff. This hardly ever gets touched. There's a gate here somewhere. I'm not going to show you the photograph because you've seen it many times. Just look up any of my Wandle paintings, watercolours, and you'll see what I'm trying to do. But this is all just a bit, it's just a bit too representational rather than an abstraction. So what I really want to do is to, is to absolutely simplify it. So I'm going to use some burnt umber, Payne's Grey, not Payne's Grey, burnt umber, ultramarine. I've, I've got a, like a, a shiny hardboard palette here. So I'm, I'm going to just paint all over this, put a background sky. More umber. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep these flat areas rather than bitty, bitty areas. Had a bit of yellow in there, I think. A bit of red. Right, okay, so we'll put a bit of a, a, a lighter sky at the bottom here. And then a bit of, bit of alizarin, a bit of a black in that red, I think. And some of that. I'm using ultramarine and burnt umber in that sky. Now the, the snow, I use a little bit of alizarin, uh, sorry not alizarin, uh, viridian because we've got a lot of um, tangle of, of this bramble and we've got the river coming down here but I, I want to put, I just indicate the dark bank. And we'll put a bit of that sky into that water there, that's the river. In now, the, the, this line of trees are uh, you've got to keep your brushes, brushes very, very clean. The, the acrylic will dry very quickly if you don't. And ruin your brushes, so we'll use those colours bit of burnt umber, a bit darker than that, I think. To burnt umber and paint, uh, an ultramarine. A bit darker than that, so a bit of black. Now we'll put a bit of blue in, a bit of white. And 
I mean, that drives a light on the horizon on top of that. I need to just get some some shape into that, and it's not so easy. So, a bit of black, a bit of the Viridian. It wasn't, we haven't had a lot of snow, but we got a good dusting of it on uh, on Sunday. It's very frosty today and yesterday, we went bike riding yesterday. So this I'm painting, not even from memory because I didn't see it in the snow, I'm just making up a sort of an abstract snow picture. So just adding colours. Willy nilly, really. Get this warm in the, the sky. Mm. Just adding the sky. So, so I don't want this to to be a realistic painting. I wanted to suggest the landscape but, but have enough abstraction in it to make it something a bit different to what I normally do. Right, let's just get this solid colours. I've, uh, if I mentioned it, the, the board itself is is heavily gessoed with uh, plaster of Paris. It's a uh, the powder they used to model with as children. Mix a bit of water with it, put it or a little water with it, put it in a rubber mould, and then within a minute or so, it's all gone hard. And you've got your and you've got your model, and then you paint it. And it's really dry. Quite, uh, quite fun as I remember. It was just this uh, ability for the for the the uh, plaster to dry, and I've mixed it with some household emulsion. Just had these little trees who were coming in from the the side here. Plenty of colour. This is just the the bank on the other side. Now that sky is better than what it was, I'm quite happy with that at the moment. I'll just dry the horizon, so bear with me. It's just a little bit, bit flat, but uh, I want the, those orangey colours on there. Just put a bit of distance here. <coughs> mm. 
mid to that dark back here to over this this sort of reflection here so let's just Put those those oranges back in in here. All right, let's get a bit, bit, bit of blue, bit. I reckon we could probably put in a bit of a bit of This is just a tangle. Um, this is a bit of a mess here, isn't it? Um, Just wonder if um, if I can get the water. Maybe maybe we can. Uh... All right. Let's get the dark green. This is a dark green, this is the bank. I'm going to put that in the frame and have a look at it. Uh, so bear with me a second. I'll just have a swig of my tea before it gets freezing cold. Oh, I don't know. Before I do, I just want to put some red. Just a touch of, of mauvey red. Just Just a little bit of uh, interest. Doesn't mean anything other than what you think it means. Right, uh, bear with me. Give a, give a good idea as to how we're going. I've taken the first abstract painting out. Right there. Put a couple of tacks in, keep it flat in the frame, talk among yourself, just a couple in, another one, 
I found it in a small uh, frame. Oh, it's a very heavy gilded uh, cheap photograph frame. I put a couple of coats of emulsion on it. White emulsion. Okay. Uh, well, that's another sort of. I'm not. I don't know. There's not a lot of, of brilliant colour, but I've abstracted the landscape to, to a certain extent. I quite like that. I think I need to carry that through a bit further over that sort of pinky colour. What do you think? So we've got the river coming down around here. I'll, I'll uh, I need just to take it because I know which direction it goes because I go down it every week. It goes around here. So I'll just put in a bit of bit of dark along down here. Just, just to indicate where that is. Right, I'll, uh, I'll probably fiddle around with this. But uh, I'll, I'll upload it. I'll zoom in. You can have a have a look. Let's look at the sky first. I should have carried that colour further across, really. And the tree, just a hint of a tree, trees, the river. No attempt at realism. Just dragged over colour to give that impression of frosty, thin layer of snow on Sunday morning. Well, there we are. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.